All right, so here's another quick little video. Somebody asked uh, about getting more information about the battery setup that I use. It's a lithium 30 amp hour. Uh, got it off of eBay, it was about 250 bucks shipped. Uh, John hyphen Coletta was the seller's name, C-O-L-E-T-T-A, I believe. And um, he does a good job on these things. He emails me right back, any questions that I've had. I had a lot of questions and issues trying to find the right battery charger and stuff and he would always be helpful and email me back uh, so I ended up buying two of them uh, one as a backup so I run a uh, battery switch in the kayak um, those are my two um, battery trays so what I did was I uh, just went to Harbor Freight bought a six dollar ammo box battery fits right inside of it nice um, I just made a little notch right there that's where the um, connection comes out for the trolling motor and then it has a separate connection for the uh, charger so, uh, and then I've got a uh, little circuit breaker inside that one's a uh, like 80 amp um, and then I've got that wired up to a momentary switch and then a voltage uh, meter. So when I close it, and then uh, just press that button, it tells me what I'm sitting at voltage wise. Um, and that's because I take these things camping with me and I'm not going to get my voltmeter out to find out which one's dead, which one's. Uh, got juice and all that stuff. It's just nice to have that information, especially when you're throwing them in the kayak. Um, so, six dollar box, about a dollar for the momentary switch, about a dollar for that meter, a couple bucks for the uh, the uh, the breaker that sits in there, and I put together two of those. So, um, and then as far as the chargers go. Um, I'm testing out this charger, which so far seems to be working good. Um, it's kind of nice because it's got a little indicator there that shows me, you know, how much it's charging. Uh, these things are only a buck, so I pretty much put them on everything just so that I can see from a glance from across the garage what it's doing, what's going on. Uh, that battery's exact same setup as the one I just showed you. Um, this is another charger. Um, I had issues trying to find a good charger that would uh, charge them. Um, and these both seem to be doing pretty good. Uh, this is a 15 volt, 2 amp. And I would definitely recommend this one. Um, might save yourself some hassle um, trying to find one because I went through three to four before I found one that would actually charge. So. That's it right there. Fu Wang, whoever the hell that is. And uh, so far, this one seems to be doing pretty good. So, if you see one of those two, I would pick those up before wasting money on anything else. And all I do is I just put these little uh, bullet connectors on there, and then those connect to the uh, charging cables. Um, and then this lets me know 14.8, um, it'll probably go up to 15.2 before it stops. There's actually a board on these batteries that uh, prevents them from overcharging. So when it hits a certain amount of voltage, it stops sending uh, voltage to the battery to stop the charging. Um, and usually the uh, when that happens, the charger will indicate, uh, it's got a green light on this one that tells me that it's charged and a red light when it's charging so when it hits green I know it's charged this one I don't know yet I'm assuming when that one last light stops flashing then it, it will know that it's charged and don't remember if there was any other questions about the batteries or not. what it looks like right there out of the box and 
that's my mess of wires. So what happens is this here is just two more of those ammo boxes. I cut the cut the tops off so that they would fit perfect. And this just slides, slides in, holds the battery. And then I just connect that up. Those are the you know trolling motor quick connects. So I've just got a green a red zip tie on this one and a green zip tie on the other one. It's just so I kind of know which one's which. Um, so battery one, battery two, and then I've just got a switch right here to go between one and two. I've never ever had an issue with these things as far as not lasting me. I've I was on the water Sunday, five, six hours, started out with, when I pushed that button, 13, four volts. After six hours, it literally dropped down to 13.3 volts. Um, I wasn't hauling butt across the lake a hundred times, but I made it around the whole entire lake and then some. Uh, so I'm real, real happy with how they performed. Uh, I'm using the PWM controller, so that may have something to do with it, but the uh, I've only had to switch over to the second battery one time, and that was when I was doing salt water, and I was going all around the place, and not in the smoothest of conditions, so I was fighting a lot of waves and a lot of wind, so uh, these batteries will go all the way down to 10 volts, so just to give you an idea, uh, I've only seen that one time, and so I just switched over to the second battery. So I hope that answers some questions that you guys had about the batteries. And if not, I guess uh, hit me up with whatever you got and I'll try to answer them for you. But I highly, highly, highly recommend these batteries. They weigh about 10 pounds. They don't take up any space at all. And the uh, only, only con to them is they're kind of expensive, but uh, to me it's worth it being in the kayak. I honestly really probably don't even need to carry the second battery with me. Um, so, but it's always good to be on the safer side. So, got any questions? Let me know.